Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to disable or enable the Show All Products feature in Magento. That's right. So let's jump across to Magento, have a look at this feature, and we'll show you how to enable it and also how to disable it too. So Dave, we've been and jumped across to our Magento website, which is using the Ultimo theme. And if I just scroll down, can you see this drop down box, which says show 12 per page? Yep. If we drop this down, there is this all option at the bottom. Now this may not be desirable if some of your categories have tens or hundreds of products in there. And again, some Magento websites may have thousands of products within a specific category, especially if it's a top level category like fashion on our website. So evening tops may only have a couple of hundred of products, but in the fashion category, we could very easily have thousands of products in there. So that option may not be desirable, or maybe on your Magento website, you don't have this all option and you want to go back and enable it. And that's what we're gonna show you how to do right now. So jumping across to our Magento dashboard, you'll want to go to system, down to configuration at the bottom. Now Dave, this setting is hiding and it's hiding underneath the catalog section. So if we scroll down, and there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight this on the screen for you. So where it says catalog and then catalog again, click into catalog and it's the top option which we want in here. So where it says front end, expand that option out. Now you'll see that there's lots of other options in here, but the one which we're after is this one here where it says allow all products per page and ours is currently set to yes. So I'm gonna set this to no instead. Now, before I go and press save, I am just gonna point out up here, Dave, is that, remember that little drop down box? In fact, why don't I jump across to our fashion category? So we're gonna be disabling the all option at the bottom, but we've got 12, 24, and 36. Maybe we want to help our customers by allowing them more, maybe 48. So I'm gonna put comma 48 on the end. Just in case you're using the list option, I'm gonna change that one there as well. Okay, and I'll point out what the difference is between the grid and the list options are in a moment. And then press save config in the top right hand corner. Now, because we don't know if you're using a full page cache extension, we're gonna show you one extra step to make sure that you do actually see these changes on the front end of your Magento website. And it's really simple to do. If you go to system, then go down to cache management. Then on the left hand side, click on select all and then press submit on the right hand side. And I know that our caches are disabled, but as you can see down here, we actually have a full page cache extension enabled in Magento. And of course, if you'd like to know more about what a full page cache extension does, nip across to understandingee.com and we'll show you how to set up one for free. Now, with that said, let's get back to our Magento website, Dave, and I'm gonna right click and hit reload. Now, in your case, you could just press F5 on your keyboard or just press the reload icon on your web browser. And Dave, there's our show box. Drop this down. We've got 24, 36. There's the extra option, which we've got for 48. And we're now crucially missing the all option at the bottom. Now, of course, if you enabled it on yours, then you'll have the all option showing on yours. And I did also say that I was gonna point out the difference between a grid and a list. Now on our product page, we've got our setup to be a grid by default. If your website's got a list, so I'm gonna click on this list icon on the right hand side, and the list is where you've got the products horizontally across the page. So can you see the difference there, Dave? We've got ours going across, and if I go back to the product grid, and then we've got them side by side. So with that said, we hope this video tutorial has been able to help you. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel.
We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.